Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's get it started with the word honesty. Sincerity. <coughs> honesty. Synonym. You know, the word honesty is a noun. It's as if the form is honest. So uh, there is a difference between honest and honesty. If you have honesty, you can be honest. That is, honesty is the name of a virtue that usually a man possesses. Honesty, it's synonym, it's truthfulness. Sorry? Truthfully. Truthfulness. Truthfulness can be used. Or uh, there is another word, integrity. Integrity. I N T E G R I T Y. Integrity. The synonym of honesty is integrity. Even you can use Okay. What? Sincerity. Sincerity, actually, sincerity and honesty are two different words. Though yeah, there may be something common about honesty and sincerity. But actually, they are not completely synonymous. Then harmful, you know, harmful is an adjective. And there are some, they are actually not some harmless. Words. And, and there are many words that end with full, harmful, harmless. Okay, you can use harmless or beneficial, beneficial, beneficial. Beneficial, beneficial is something that gives to benefit. That is beneficial is also okay. Harmless is also okay. No problem. You can use harmless or beneficial. Then injustice. Injustice. Justice. Justice, injustice. You know, there are uh, some common words we usually add I N before them to make them antonymous. Complete, incomplete, justice, injustice, active, inactive, equality, inequality. Okay, then immoral, synonym, immoral, immoral, something that is not moral, it's an adjective, immoral, immorality, bad, evil, bad, uh, evil, evil can be used, evil or unethical, ethical means something moral, Unethical, unethical can be used as its synonym. Uncomfortable. Comfortable. 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 Okay. Responsible. Responsible. Answerable. Reliable. Reliable means something. Reliable means something or someone you can depend on. But responsible means if you are responsible for something, that means you are liable to do that. You are entrusted with the duty of doing something. If you are responsible to do something, its synonym can be liable. L I A B L E. Liable. Liable or accountable. 
accountable. If you are accountable, that means you are liable to have to account for your action. You are responsible, accountable, liable. All these are used as synonyms. Actually, no two words, no two words are exactly the same. Can you understand me? Yes, sir. No two words are exactly or 100% same. There must be a bit of difference in meaning or in context. So they are used as yes, synonyms. Though many words used as synonyms, but there is or there are some subtle differences between them. Responsible, accountable, reliable. Actually, don't use reliable. Liable. You can use liable. Okay, sir. Liable or accountable. Yes, you can use uh, dependable in case of reliable. You can use reliable as synonym of dependable. If someone is dependable, that means you can depend on him for something. You can rely on him, depend on, rely on him. Okay, let's move to the next word. Perform. Make. Represent. Performance. Performance is its noun. Perform actually is a part. Its a noun is performance. Represent. Actually, performance means something you do somewhere. For example, his performance as a player on the pitch in a football match. That means he performs well. That means he does well. If you perform well, it means you do well. If you perform well in a football match, you, it means you play well in that match. So, perform, you can use do or act, act or do. Perform is a verb. Its noun is performance. Clear? Yes, sir. Then, in sincerity. Very easy. Sincerity. 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 Job, just in has been added before this word to make it an antonym. Then better, it's a very common word. Good, better, best. Comparatively, we are good. Antonym. Sorry. Antonym. Bad. Bad, bad word. Worse. If it's positive degree, if it were positive, that is, uh, if it were good, you could have used bad, but it's not good, it's better. Comparative. So you have to use the comparative form of it. Or worse. W for empty word. Good, better, best. Bad, worse. False. Okay. Yes, sir. Then false, good. Not false. Falsehood. False is uh, an adjective, but falsehood is a noun form. You know, childhood, brotherhood, falsehood, motherhood, boyhood. You are familiar with these words. Similar is the case with the word falsehood. Okay, it's a noun. Also, no. Lie. Listen. Also, you can use lie. Just lie. Lie is a noun. Lie is a verb. Lie. Or you can use 
untrue. Here is a word as untrue. Have you heard this word before? Lie, L I E. Or untrue. Okay, clear. Yes, sir. Any problem? Have you anything to ask? If not, okay, let's move to number 21. Dictatorship does not imply monarchy. Imply monarchy. It rather reflects the whims and caprices of a single ruler. Dictatorship means the rule of a single ruler. And he is the all powerful. He rules the country the way he likes. That is the way of a dictator. The dictator is an autocratic ruler. It's just opposite to democracy. Can you hear me? For example, Hitler was a great dictator whose rule will never be marked as the age of suicide. Hitler was a great dictator whose rule will never be marked as the age of suicide. Private opinion was omitted. Private opinion was omitted. That means during Hitler's <coughs> reign or Hitler's time, people did not have the right to express their private or personal opinion. That is, uh, there was no freedom of his team during Hitler's time. Actually, no, direct, no dictator allowed freedom of his team. Dictators are usually our, afraid of freedom of his team. And democracy was flooded. Private opinion was committed and democracy was flooded. However, the dictatorship of Fidel Castro, Lenin, and Stalin is highly clear. Do you know the meaning of the word clap or clapping? Have you heard the word clap? Highly clapped by the people. Though they are democratic leaders, they have earned people at press. Though they are democratic leaders, they have earned people at press. That is, they are so called democratic leaders. People did not love them, rather hated them. Okay. Now, let's see the word given below. Imply. Dictatorship does not imply monarchy. Here, imply. Is a part does not imply dictatorship does not imply that means dictatorship does not mean sir indicate mean or indicate okay thank you very much 
dictatorship does not indicate or does not mean. You can see it's a bar because the subject is dictatorship does not auxiliary is used here. And the main part is implied. Refers to main something. Monarchy. Monarchy is a system of government. Self Republic. Thank you. Very nice. Let me say something about monarchy. Monarchy is a system of government. It's a system of ruling a country or a state or a nation. Where there is a king, monarch, that is a king or a dictator. And he is the all powerful. He dictates everything. He rules the country with an iron man. He makes policy. He changes policy. That is, he has almost everything under his control. That is called monarchy. Monarchy is the system of government. Monarchy, Antony, Republic. Even you can use democracy. Democracy is its opposite. In a democratic system of government, there is no monarch or king or a dictator. And the people, the will of people is appreciated, is valued. In a democratic, in a democratic society or in a republic. But that does not usually happen in monarchy. Okay, monarchy, Antony, democracy or republic, never. Anthony. Ever. Ever. Never, ever. You can use also alloy. Alloy can be as is. Anthony. Never, ever, never alloy. Suicide. Suicide means killing. Killing one's lead. Killing oneself. It's Anthony. Killing oneself means leave. Leave. Actually, leave is a part, but suicide is a noun. Suicide is a noun. So you should use a noun as an antonym. You can use survival. Survival. The noun form of survival. S U R G I B A L survival survival private Anthony private private Anthony public private public okay it's okay omitted omitted means if you omit something, throw away. Leave. Omit. Leave. Omit means to exclude something. For example, there, there is a word, so there is a sentence, but you want to omit or you want to exclude an adverb from the sentence. That is, he goes to school every day. He goes to school every day. Every day. Every day is an adverb. You can exclude the word. That means you can omit the word. So, yeah. so to, omit, to omit something means to delete something. To exclude something. So you can use the delete. As it is omitted, past participle, you should use deleted. Deleted or excluded. Okay. If the word is a verb and past participle, you have to use past participle of it as its synonym or antonym. Okay. Omitted, deleted, excluded. Yes, sir. Democracy. Antonio. 
inequality. Dictatorship. Monarchy, you can use monarchy or autocracy. Autocracy. A U T O C R E. Autocracy. Or monarchy. You can find the word in the very first line of the passage. Can you see? Yes. Monarchy. Class. Have you heard the word class? Yes. When you clap your hand, that means to appreciate something. For example, if so there can be used love because the story is telling we are contents to this. Okay, clap appreciate when you appreciate something. You clap for them. That is when a player performs very brilliantly in a match in a football match or in a cricket match or when he scores a we just clap. That means we appreciate it. Okay. However, the dictatorship of Fidel Castro, Lenin, and Stalin is highly clapped by the people. Fidel Castro, Lenin, Stalin, they are very famous people. But Many people think that they are actually dictators, but they did many good things for the people. That's why, in spite of being dictators, they are clapped by the people. That means they are appreciated. The things they did during their time were clapped by people or appreciated by the people. So you can use clap, a particular clap. So it should be appreciated. Appreciate is a part. Appreciated in this first and first particular. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes, democratic, sir. democratic, Antonin, autocratic. Undemocratic. Undemocratic is also okay. You can use that one. No problem. Undemocratic or autocratic. At press. It's not hate. It's at press. So there is a difference between hate and at press. Hate is a part. But hatred is its noun, noun form, hatred. You can use so love. This is love. Love is used both as a verb and a noun. If I say, I love my country, that is, I love my country, yeah, love is a verb. Love is a verb. But I have, if I say, I have a love for my country, I have a love for my your love is not. That means you have something. You have something that is called love. So, hatred is the name of a feeling. It's the name of infinite. So, it's a noun. Hatred. You can use love as this. And to me. Okay. We have a less than one minute. Any problem or anything else to ask? Have you anything else?